Hello, Stephen Sean. This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So we're going to take a quick look at your website, see what's going on, and see if there's anything we can do to help. So right off the bat, you have a whole bunch of stuff here, residential, painting services. Good. You have a drop-down menu for it. Um, I wonder if there's a difference between residential and just regular painting services. I have no idea. Anyway, plan your paint job uh, about us. So this is all really good, and I like that you have your phone number up here. Get a free estimate. There's a lot of wasted space over here, so theoretically you can have all of this under one big giant drop-down menu. Even plan your paint job. I mean, I guess it's fine, but you have a lot of the same... I mean, I, hey, I, I'm not here to, to say anything or judge anything about it. Um, my only thing is that it might be just, you know, taking up space in a way. Schedule a free quote is definitely good. I would probably have that thingy over here that, um, you know, that uh, name, number, email, and then, you know, send us brief message stuff. But otherwise, pretty solid. I do not like how this follows me down because then it cuts off a lot of my space. Um, I notice uh, HOA, uh, probably a really big deal uh, in Arizona. Residential, commercial, good. You're differentiating recently completed projects. Cool. Um, and then crock painting services, flexible scheduling, great consultations are free, perfect warranties are services. Okay, here we go. Okay, blogs are good. This I would probably put up top, but it's good. All right, now once here did we mention about the services you do you offer? We 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 uh we kind of have the drop down menus which are great, but we're not actually talking about them. So ideally, when somebody comes to your website and they scroll down through the front page, right, if they don't see the services you offer, they might leave. They want to quickly see what it is you're doing and what you can offer them, and then they want to call. So yes, you do want the number to be fully available everywhere, but at the same exact time, like I said, this thing follows you all around. That's not very good. It, it cuts off a lot of vision, but at the same exact time, we need to also talk about what it is you're offering, right? Um, what do they call it? Uh, content is key in this line of, of business. You definitely want to be able to have more content on your homepage that is actually relevant to the services you are offering. Um, but let's take a look behind the scenes, see what's going on over here. So um, if I didn't know any better, just from viewing your website, uh, this is doing pretty well, right? A UR rating is how strong your company website is. Uh, you have a 22 for that. Your DR rating is how much Google does trust you, which means you have some really good backlinks because a backlink is what's going to affect these guys over here. Now, you want this to be in the 30s and 40s with a ratio of one to one. So, so far, you're doing pretty good. But your backlinks are um, basically where you have your website link somewhere else and somebody can click on it. And a referring domain is when they do click on it and it returns back to you. Now, not all are good. Some are spammy like you know BuzzFeed and Wikipedia. So stay away from those. Now, I noticed you had a blog on your website, which means you're going to have a lot of keywords you're ranking for. Now, you are bringing in 100 people, uh, 100, basically 100 people to your website. So let's take a look and see what those organic keywords are and see if they're helping you out. So 52 of your traffic is coming from crock painting, which means they're probably repeat customers or they know you or I don't know. It could be referrals. I have no idea. But that, that's where they're coming from. So they're not necessarily looking um they might not be new or you know anyone like that it might just be people who know who you are and 52 isn't bad a month don't get me wrong but as we scroll down right we like i noticed you had all of these on your website what i'm looking for is a specific type of keyword called the buyer intent keyword it basically goes from a service they're looking for to a location that they're in because none of these do that Painting company near me has a lot of traffic for it. Unfortunately, it's an international keyword, so anyone in the United States can rank for it. Now, I know you're not ranking for it anymore, but what you are ranking for isn't anything that's going to help you out because none of it is local. It's not talking about Gilbert, Tech, uh, Gilbert Arizona. It's talking about anywhere. So let's say what happens. Let's let's kind of look and see what happens when I do put in a very buyer intent keyword, Painters Gilbert, Tech, uh, Arizona. Let's see what happens. So right off the bat, we got our Google guarantee, which is good. We got all of this, guys, over here, which is your GMB, Google My Business Profile. Very important to get in here because about 30, 40% of all business owners will click on one of these guys. So very important to get here. Um, then after that, we have our um, uh, organic search. Anyone can rank here as long as you know what you're doing. And we got, what was it? Yelp, Home Advisor, Angie are taking the top spots. Finally, we got an Arizona Painting Company. So this is actually a back page. It's not even their home page because Arizona Painting is everywhere in Arizona. As you can see, they have three separate numbers on top. Uh, email us, schedule now. So, so they're just kind of in a lot of spots. But 
Oh, it bothers me. Okay, they sort of do, but you got to click. You don't want to have it where you have to click again. You just want to have it to scroll over. So something I am looking at uh, is Gilbert Painting Company. That's a keyword. Gilbert Painting Services. That's a keyword. So all of those are buyer intent keywords, and he's going to start ranking for those simply because they're on his website. Um, this is a little vague, uh, not vague, it's a little, uh, I don't know, unnecessary. But those are mapped. This is the reviews, and that's it. Their entire website for this page. So honestly speaking, just by looking at the back end over here as well, they have a UR rating of 10 and a DR rating of 32. And that's because they're connected with all the other locations. So they're chaining their backlink. So they probably only have four and they're chained to the other three, and they only have one referring domain. But they're doing pretty good for a DR because they're not Google isn't just looking at this entire thing here. They're just looking at ArizonaPaintingCompany.com. Now, they do have seven organic keywords, and those seven are bringing them 19 people a month. But I'm almost positive that anyone who's typing in anything remotely to do with, um, you know, painting in Arizona, they are one of the top people to pop up. So let's see what they're ranking for. So they have all these different keywords that they're using, and, like, these are not very good. But these three are, because that's bringing in over 210 people a month that search for that stuff. And they're only bringing in 19 short, but they still own the top of the ranking. So beating these guys out is honestly going to be super easy. So how does this really help you guys out? Uh, and by the way, Bernadette did say I can send this over to you guys. I did want to give a quick shout out to her, of course. But basically what we got to do is we got to get content on your homepage, right? We got to talk about the services you offer. Second is we got to get those buyer intent keywords in that content so it makes sense. And then finally rank for those by getting more backlinks and referring domains up there that are actually really strong. Now you're not doing bad with them, you're doing really good, but you're just not utilizing them, uh, I, I would say to the best of the ability. Uh, that's all I got. Like I said, you're doing really well as far as rankings go, like you are in DR ratings, but if you're not ranking high in Google, then it's a little bit of a waste. That's all I really got. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Other than that, you guys have a good day. Bye.